Kyoto! <laughs> Thank you guys for coming to Kyoto with me. It is wonderful to see you. Let's have an awesome morning. Okay, let me know if you guys can see me in the chat and if everything is working out for you. Oh, it must be working out for me because I'm getting a commercial already even though, even though I'm logged into the Ask Japanese account. Even we get the commercials on our own videos. Here we go guys, we are in Kyoto, the wonderful old capital of Japan and it is wonderful to see you guys and we're in for real treat today because I spoke with a kimono rental place and they allow us to film not only getting ready but also the new style that recently has been a trend here in Kyoto. It's called kimono rental biwa and we're gonna go inside and, and the staff is already like oh my gosh it is a it is a live stream oh they're like a little bit <laughs> i kind of surprised them a little bit i tend to do that with people but uh, everything is set up they're ready they're letting me film inside now so guys let's have some fun let's check out kyoto's kimono a rental also well welcome everyone in welcome everyone in this is our very ever ever as japanese lifestyle stream in kyoto we've never been to Kyoto so this is very very exciting and recently what a lot of young people do when they come to Kyoto is they get dressed up in a wonderful kimono or a yukata and then make memories wearing these taking all the pictures wearing is going sightseeing wearing these and uh, before it, it, there was a time when a lot of foreigners were doing it so it was like a foreigner is like oh I want to dress like a samurai I want to dress like a ninja or a geisha but now there is a new trend and the young girls and guys here in Japan are wearing those pretty much mainly. And one of those things is that they're using a lot of lace. It's called retro kimono. So it gives you kind of a retro style and it fuses, fu fusionous, fuses, there we go. It fuses uh, Western elements with Japanese elements. So it comes with a lot of lace and a lot of pearls and all these things that is new that has been a recent trend and uh, let's have a look inside the store oh whoops. guys you're ready to go inside you're ready to go inside <laughs> hey everyone for saying hi welcome 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 into the stream and thank you for everyone who pushed the like button it makes a big change for us so thank you for everyone pushed the like button please don't forget to push the like button if we're here so yeah <laughs> let's go yes so let's have a look and let's go inside and uh, surprise the staff not too much and just remember guys i will not be able to look at the screen as much once i go in and chat with the chat so hopefully i will catch up your comments but yes hello hello welcome hello welcome welcome in welcome 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 hello okay now we're good let's go in <laughs> click, click it push it smash that like exactly thank you for everyone smashing that like so yeah this place here is we're in a place you called gojo zaka there is a bus stop just down the street here. That's where you probably will come to Gojo Zaka. And once you are past that bus stop, you go up the street here. We have now a Yamada here, but wait a second. Yep. You go up the street here, and that takes you to the famous Kiyomizu Dera Temple. So that is over up here. So on your way to Kiyomizu Dera, you can actually get yourself dressed in kimono, and a lot of people have been doing that this weekend. I've been. Um, talking with the store to make sure everything works out so I've been done that as well so welcome in from all countries of the world from all over the world well welcome to you to you to you everyone who said hi I hereby say hi to you let's go inside after crossing the street carefully <laughs> all right you ready for it you ready for it oh, oh you're gonna get me get to see you get changed oh yes Part of it is gonna be in here too. Also, let's let's, let's have a look at this one. Check out. We have a cute little Nezuko. So yeah, Kimono Rental Biwa is their name, but this is all in in Japanese letters. But if you can read it, congratulations. So yeah, isn't this absolutely beautiful? The detailing on the lace and stuff. This is a totally new trend. So yeah. So let's keep going in. So these ones are for the for the kids <laughs> and then also for the gents i think the gents one look really cool and classic too i like those ones yes the men's one look really classy right all right rock phone hello hey. 
Thank you, HK Era and Adora for looking at the chat. Let's go inside the Biwa. Ooh, konnichiwa. <laughs> There's two ladies already waiting for me. I feel like a princess. Okay, they said they're gonna check out. Help me later. So these ones are the kids' kimonos. There's kids' plants and they're like colorful and really, really fun. They have really nice flowers here and similar things like that. Also golden embroidery and similar things like that. So these ones are the kids' kimonos. They're a little bit smaller. You can tell the girly ones are like super flowery and happy. And the boy ones are like, oh, we're cool now. Like, look at that. There's waves and fans. We're cool now. <laughs> They're all amazing, right? So we have the, the men's here. There's a lot of blue, like kind of indigo is one of the traditional dyeing methods of Japan. That's why you will see a lot of blue here with the, uh, with the male kimonos. But you also see if you don't want to break out from the blue and the blacks, there's also some really colorful patterns here as well. Ooh, look at the posh ones. There's like really expensive ones. This is like silk that has like patterns on it actually embroidered in. Ooh, those ones are nice. You look totally like a feudal, like a feudal lord here. Ooh, and here are the high class ladies kimonos. <gasps> and these ones are a furry sode. You know what a furry sode is, guys? Until the age of 20, or actually until you're married, women uh, can wear furry sode, which is a long sleeve kimono. And once you are married, women generally don't wear a furry sode anymore. They then wear a short sleeve kimono. Just look how long that sleeve is. It goes all the way, almost going to the ground. So this one here is a furisode kimono. And they're also all of them. That is silk. Look at that beautiful silk here. Ooh. Wow, okay, that is pretty, 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 pretty. So yes. So these ones are the high silk ones. And then we have different kind of patterns in the material and on the material so yes if you're not married you can wear the long sleeve kimono still or oh, this one here Ooh, pretty right no oh look at the gold here oh my gosh these ones are the shorter sleeves can you see that this is a short sleeve kimono short sleeve long sleeve long long sleeve so yeah <laughs> and then we're going up in the quality of the silk which will also change the quality of uh, the rental price which does make sense because some of these uh, kim kimonos can be very 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 expensive so renting these silken kimonos out is also a risk for the stores. So depending on which quality and which level you go for, it will change. Then the next thing, after you selected which kimono you want, you will select which obi. Obi is the sash that goes around your waist. And again, obis are very, very, very expensive. And you can see, because there's so much detail here, why they are so expensive as well. And I find it really cool. They have kitsune masks here, by the way. And then we have extra things like bags and pouches to take with you on your trip when you're going out. Here's more obis, by the way. Here's more simpler obis. These uh, obis is also, um, they're really hard to tie. There is one thing mentioned to you guys. Maybe you don't know this, but you can, generally people can't wear a kimono by themselves. Generally you need help to wear a kimono. It is not just the bathrobe that you might have seen in, in America and outside of the world where you just throw it on and it's done and you tie it around your waist. No. Proper kimono needs help. You need to have different layers and you need help with someone getting you into it. There are some professionals who can wear it by themselves, but generally the average Japanese person gets help and gets someone to dress them in the kimono. That's how difficult it is to wear a kimono. And that's why there's a lot of rental spaces where people will actually help you select a kimono and wear it. So yes. Um, 
So here, I'm dropping all the facts so we have more sashes, and those bags are so cute. Some of those bags look so expensive, and I'm sure they were also so expensive. Yeah, intricate is the right word, Raptor. There's a lot of intricate items here as well. And I like they have like this photo area here. Did you see that in the background? There's like a hanging, a hanging kimono. And then they have a photo area here with like flowers and parasols and stuff. So looking forward to trying that one out. And then you can't wear your sneakers. You have to wear some proper Japanese shoes, right? So here are the Zordi or Gita Japanese shoes that you can then wear with these as well. They will help you select which ones will go with your design. You don't want to completely go off the original um, that will go with your dress. Now, we were talking about a new dress style that has been, that is come up and coming and very, very recent. And that's the retro kimonos. So I think I'm gonna go and ask one of the staff members about that now. Sumimasen! なんかレトロ着物の説明をちょっと誰かできますか最近のトレンドなのでレースがついてたりとか簡単で全然いいですのでお願いしていいですかどうしますかおばいおばいと coming <笑> So they, she said like kimonos that actually have lace on it are now the newest trend. So instead of silken kimonos, like I've just showed you earlier, it is actually kimonos that have loads and loads of lace and lace patterns on it. So um, in case you guys can't see this, there's one layer of lace and then behind it is the cloth. Asuna <laughs> desne. Okay, and another thing is like antique kimonos with these kind of old school patterns. These ones are another trend now, so they're kind of bringing that retro feeling now back with these old patterns. So they don't look as big and flashy as the ones I showed you at the start. But these ones here are a little bit more calmer, but you wear them in a classy kind of style with a different setup. And again, you can add some lace to it as well. She just explained to me that uh, these ones here, so these ones are also made out of silk, but what happened with these ones a lot with the retro ones is that they only would make one or, or you know, a very, very limited number. So some of those might be like rare patterns that only has been made one in the entire world. So there won't be a second or a third one out of it. So these ones are for the retro style kimonos, which is again, the two new trends, retro kimonos and lace kimonos. Ooh, Subarashi desu. All right, well, on that note, I guess it's time for me to get dressed now and <laughs> Let me take you to the back of the store because actually, hold on, I have already picked my kimono because <laughs> we wanted to make sure we have something for when we start stream. So I already picked my kimono and we're going to get dressed into it together. Yes, they also rent out guys kimonos and kids kimonos too. Okay, I'll show you the dressing room, okay? I just checked if it's okay to show the dressing room. So let me show you the dressing room, guys. Okay, the Japanese dressing room is tatami mats here, which means you need to take off your shoes. Even the staff is taking off their shoes. And then here are different bows and sashes and ties that help you wear the kimono in the right way. All right. Oh, there's me. Hello, guys. And then there's a lot of the, this pile here of lace. That is new. That's with the new trends. Right? So be sure that you know that this wasn't here before. This is all part of the new retro trends with all the laces and stuff. So isn't this wonderful? So this is gonna be the this is gonna be the one that I have picked now. I wanted to see. I wanted to see pinks. I wanted to see 
lace. So we're really going to try and go with that new style. I've never worn that new style. It's a very, very new trend. So I'm very, very excited about seeing this. And look at all the, the pearls going down. She even picked some pearls for me. That is pretty cool. So yeah, and also in these boxes are a lot of extra ties and sashes that will be necessary to dress you in it. And I find it is like a, almost a clash between Lolita and Kimono, right? Yeah, you're right. Kimono, Lolita, right? So it's going to be amazing, guys. But yeah, it is actually on traditional tatami mats with actual sliding doors. If you can see that here. So we we're in for a treat. We're in for a treat. Right. <laughs> now, I will have to get changed and I can't, I, you don't have to see all of me getting changed, right? So for a quick moment, I quickly put the phone down here because, uh, you know, it's getting, gonna get changed and all. So <laughs> I'll probably have to give you, a, oh, hi, 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 hi. I quickly have to get, put you down here for a quick moment. You're gonna see the Japanese landscape while I get the first layer on because I don't want to be completely nudie in front of my camera. So we're gonna put the first layer on and then I'm gonna be here in a moment. So give me like a minute, but I will come out in my kimono underwear. There is a dress you wear under a kimono. Uh, so I'm gonna come out in my kimono underwear and that's when we're gonna continue getting me dressed here. So you're in for a treat. <laughs> In the meantime, guys, remember it is an IRL stream. So uh, I will not probably see comments as much as I do when I'm actually sitting in the room and have time to read your comments. Give me one minute. In the meantime, in the chat, guys, let me know, uh, have you ever worn dresses from Japan? Would you like to wear one? What color would you choose? Exchange with each other what kind of kimono you would be interested in, what you want to wear. And maybe you can guess what kimono underwear looks like because that's what I'm going to be coming in in a moment. So hold on. I'll be back in a second. Hi. Okay, I'll see you in a sec. Hold on. Hi. 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 Hi.
guys, welcome to my underwear. <laughs> Okay, let's see, guys. So, I'm already wearing several layers of. So, there's this one here, which is the underwear underwear part. And then over this is another underwear part. But this one already has lace. How pretty is that? Never seen that before. That is a pretty new trend here right now. And around here are several layers of towels and something. Remember, this part here is supposed to be super hard. So we're going to even put more things on here. Yeah, it has a Victorian vibe to it, doesn't it? So it is very, it, it stops you a little bit from being that flexible and moving around. She also said don't lift your arms up too much and stuff like that because right now they're trying to construct this. There is a plethora of pins and sashes and ties, everything here. So for example, look at this, different pins to keep it in place, different things to bolster it out, ties, sashes. These are the, the underwear kimonos here, more sashes. I've already wearing a lot, a lot, a lot of layers here. And then these ones are the ones that will be later visible. So yeah, we haven't even, we haven't even started yet. This is just the underwear that I'm wearing right now. So yeah. How long does a typical kimono session take? Oh, well, let's ask that. Hold on one second. You guys, I'm not dressed yet. People already, you need a different obi. Guys, I'm not dressed yet. This is not a kimono. Hey, Adora, thank you for the dollar. <laughs> Adora, thank you. Arigato. Thank you. Let's see if we get the money for the kimono changing rental in. So yeah, we are not, this is not a kimono yet. We are not dressed yet. <laughs> this is still the underwear. So one layer underwear, second layer underwear. And we're taking it from here. So this is just the start. But I wanted to have you guys in so you can see a little bit more of the actual experience as well. So let me draw up the chat. Thank you for everyone who pushed the like button, by the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It makes a big change for us. So thank you for pushing uh, the like button. Nande, kimono koko katakuta shitari to ka suru n desu ka? Ano ne, nante da kara. Zundo, kan kohi te wakaru kara. Masu ga nani mo outotsu no nai karada ga ichiban kirei ni kitsuke ga dekiru kara, subete o dekitara taira ni shitai. So uh, to answer one of your questions in, in Japanese fashion, you try to, in the traditional world, to have it all in one straight line. So while Western fashion in, seems to like and focus on curves, in Japan, it like the traditional Japanese fashion focus on one straight line. And that's why we're also bolstering this one up. We've been putting a couple of towels here to give it a little bit of an extra boost as well. So we want to get, this is, this is Japanese traditional fashion. Very different from your traditional fashion. Yes, yes, we're in the process here right now. Katharina, thank you for the two dollars. Katharina, thank you so much. Have an awesome time. Thank you for the support. Arigato ne. Right. So we are here at Kimono Biwa in Kyoto, and uh, this is just the halfway process. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you are advanced kimono, oh, that's a lot. That's a long question. Hold on. Yeah, guys, if you have questions, make sure that you maybe make them very short because big comments appear for literally for a second before they go. So, <laughs> uh, oh, there's a good question about plus size. Uh, <laughs> Ah. <laughs> she said in order to get that right shape with the kimono you have to like kind of even if you have quite 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 some wood in front of the cottage they're trying to make it as flat as possible so they use towels here and towels there to give you that kind of flat um modest japanese shape so they're, they're used to that and they can do that but uh, yeah, they're trying to get you into the Japanese shape as well. So yes. <laughs> okay. okay, we're gonna go to the next level. Just hold on guys, I won't be able to read your comments for a moment, but we're gonna get continue here. Okay. <laughs> 
She said, look straight, look forward. It's all about the balance. You can't just throw it on like you throw on your regular bathrobe. I'm quite curvy. I have quite juicy thighs. I, I said, if, is that going to be okay? She said, don't worry. We can work with that. Wow. So it is, um, you know how in the West, in the Victorians, we used to have corsets? It's not quite the same like a corset, but it is quite tight. It has to be put properly in place. So that's one thing you need to go about. Don't don't try and loosen it up to make it more comfortable. It's not supposed to be comfortable. It's like wearing a corset in a way. Ooh. Oh, I love the pink. So glad I got this one. The last couple of days, this one was very popular, and I didn't even see it in store when I was came, when I came earlier. So I'm glad it's back now. They open at nine, and I stood here right before they opened. So the idea for this started around four years ago, but it's becoming a real trend that not a lot of people wear and take their Instagram pictures with. That is actually super recent. Wow, look at the pearls. Can you see the pearls, guys? I, by the way, I can't read the chat. You guys are too far away. So you always, there's a big thing by the way, if you wear kimono or yukata, even if you just have like a throw on thing, make sure that the left side is on top of the right side. So the way I remember it is if you're right handed, you could go and easily, uh, you know, reach inside your clothes to maybe take something out because uh, it's pretty much the living people who are alive wear it left over right, but the dead people wear it right over left. So you need to 
make sure that you get the right way. And you can see how many layers we're putting around my stomach right now to make my my body as flat as a, a cup, kind of coffee, she said. Like, we're trying to get you to the aesthetic of being as straight in one shape as a can of coffee. <laughs> Look, guys. So we have here so many layers, layer, 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 layer. Loads of bands, loads and loads of layer, 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 layer. And we're not even there yet. But here is the pearl necklace and the lace that she added on top. How cute is that? Frederick, two questions. Thank you, Frederick, for the $20. Say no. Arigato. What was the questions? Two questions. Do they get a lot of foreigners and going to the bathroom in the outfit? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Hi. They said a lot of foreigners. They get a lot of foreigners to come here. It stopped here with a bow, right? And long, yeah. あの、ひっぱるともう引きずって歩けなくなるので、1枚ずつこう、めくって、めくって気をつけながら。そうそう、こんな感じ。そうそう。えっとね、こうです。ちょっと、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、
あ、逆にしつもんがあります。あ、there's <笑> But it's seen abroad, people are really not used to it. Why is that so? Good question. So, this is not so no corset to Victorian Jedi Kara has a store. So, you shimets could have shown that I'm not here to shimata. Yeah, I think because of like after the Victorians and similar, we have more fashion styles that give women more freedom of movement, right? Oh, by the way, guys, if you're wondering, though, there are different kimono fashion styles that give you more power of movement and more freedom of movement. Oh, so, for oh, example, for cool. the um, university students, once women are allowed to go to university, there is a style that is a little bit easier to move in. Yeah, so uh, there is a style that's a little bit easier to move, uh, which is called hakama. So the top is like a kimono. And the bottom is almost like a skirt that opens up, which gives you more freedom of movement and to move around. So that, that was the kimono for the ladies' ones. Women were allowed to study at university in Japan. So that one is also very beautiful. And when it's graduation ceremonies here in Japan, that's usually when a lot of women wear, wear, will wear hakamas too. They look really good. <laughs> and she's prepping some things for me here right now. Let me have a quick look at the chat. Look how the... There's a lot of layers here. <laughs> There's a lot of layers here. We're, we're, working, we're working on it. This is a work in process. <laughs> Alright, alright. Oh, Warren! Thank you so much, Warren. Did I miss that? Don't forget your umbrella. Cosplay must have an umbrella? We're not doing cosplay though right now, but thanks! Will you wear a Kitsuna mask as earlier? Uh, the Kitsuna mask doesn't quite go with the style we're going with right now. We're going for a classy retro look. There's gonna be a, a very classy hat. Ninjaman Sanjo, Ninjaman, thank you. Welcome for coming to the dress up. They also do the hair, yes. So the next step is gonna be the hair. And the hair, the hair lady said, I'm shy. So, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, so this one, this, this kimono rental place here is called Biwa. <gasps> oh, look at the wonderful bow already. Oh my gosh, look at all the raised lace and the floof. It's so floof. <laughs> it's so floof. One more time, ninja man. Arigato ne ni. Can you wear a hat with kimono? Can you wear it black? Kuroi kimono mo kiremasu Yes, they have those, especially for gents. Nihon no daiichi reso de kuro tome so de te yu no ga arimasu. Oh, okay, there is also traditional black one. Oh, those ones are very expensive. The black kimonos are actually very, very expensive. Greg, thank you so much for the donation. Greg, arigato ne, Greg, thank you. And you can wear a hat with a kimono, which is actually what I want to do. There's a certain type of hat that has been recommended to me with this style of kimono, not with all styles. Don't forget, there's many, many styles of kimono. Ooh, look, we're having more and more laces going up. So we have a to hundred laces that feel a hundred levels being underneath this, then the orbi. And then this lace layer, and then the second lace layer that she just added. How cute is that? 
Can you purchase your rental kimono? Well, a lot of people rent kimonos because they're actually very, very expensive. And you will not be able to wear them yourself, right? Even if you buy it, you need someone to help you do it. Look, we have some pearls here now, too. Is there an umbrella? There are uh, some parasols, some lace parasols that go with this style. Don't forget, this is not a common style. Thank you for everyone who pushed the like button. Don't forget, this is not a common style. It is a new style which uses a lot of lace. Thank you, thank you. あの、着物買いたいですって言われたことありますか？ありますけど販売はしてないかな。うんうん。As I asked her if they actually, they said there is a lot of people who say, uh, after they wore it, oh, can we buy this kimono? And she's like, but we can't. <laughs> we, we don't. We don't sell kimonos. This is actually a rental place. すごく素敵で可愛いです。ありがとうございます。Thank you, Jake. ククッククッククッククックククッククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククククク
It is a new kimono style that uses a lot of lace. It's been really recently popular. It's a new trend when young people are wearing it, probably for their Instagram and similar. And you are one of the first people to come along with me to check it out. So yeah, all right, mm -hmm. let's go now. We're gonna get our shoes with these. Oh, kawaii kawaii. This is there, we have pink. This is Zori. Oh. Okay, these ones are called Zori. Zori. And Geta are the ones for summer. And you have to wear tabi socks with kimonos, and that's what I'm already wearing. Mm. Oh, and with the yukata, you just go in there bare feet. So that's the difference. So right now I'm wearing tabi, these are the socks, and uh, tabi, and Zori. Zori. Oh, Zori, Zori. And if you have a yukata, it will be bare feet and gitta. So it's different type of shoes as well. All right, let's go. <laughs> it's time to get our hair set. Oh, look at all the pretty things to get hair set. I feel like a prison. Oh, there's so many hair accessories here and flowers. Brian, thank you. Here we go. Kimonos, yeah, in winter or in all the seasons too. Yukata is for summer, kimono is for the other seasons, but also for formal purposes. Thank you, Brian. That is wonderful. Arigato And here are traditional Japanese decorations too. So this is more traditional against silk or sashes these ones are very popular or sakura if it's if you want to go with the season Pretty, right? that looks fantastic oh wow those ones are also pretty so these ones are also like little bits of cloth that they put together. Oh yeah, also that this is their Instagram. Uh, Biwa Kimono 2018. That's their Instagram here. In case you want to see how what other styles and what other girls have worn. Oh, they're so nice. They're pulling out a lot of the items to show us. Oh, look at that! <laughs> It's like you're becoming a present yourself. Ah. Ah. Ah, okay. These ones here are for festivities. There are different types of kimonos, like I mentioned before. And these ones are for festivities when you're wearing the long furisode to celebrate something. These ones go with that one. Oh, thank you for pulling out all the items. So this, thank you so much. And yeah, the new style is like I said, a lot of lace, and a very very classy. And there's the hats. You guys were asking about hats earlier. Here we go. Right, and this this is the setup we get in front of us. So let's see. Let me switch the camera around. Director, welcome to work. Here we go, I'm gonna sit down. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> ah, kampiki desu ne. All right, we're gonna go and get styled now. I did absolutely nothing with my hair, it's super, super fluffy. So I'm gonna get a little bit of 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 a ありがとうございます。あ、あの、観光客と大体どうやって会話してますか? how you guys are actually communicating. So there's staff here that speaks English. Oh, there's also other languages that they speak in this place too. 
Oh, there's someone who can also speak Chinese. That's fantastic. So they, they can help you. So you don't need a translator. Also, sometimes a lot of things will work if you just have come if you communicate a little bit with body language too, in my opinion too. <笑>全然ゆっくりで大丈夫です。はい。あ、じゃあちょっとこうやって。はい。映さないように、ちゃんと。ありがとうございます。大丈夫ですよ。ヘアスタイルも、あの、着物の時ってアップスタイル、この now it used to be the beautiful things is to show your neck that's why Japanese people often in our videos you might have heard it before like seeing the neck of a girl but recently it seems to be ponytails and similar things like that that are popular so right now she is gonna braid she's gonna um, style my hair in a style for that so yes <laughs> She's very fast. Thank you, Greg, for the ten dollars. Arigato ne. Thank you. Arigato. Daitai no jumbi wa doru kurai jikan ka karun desu ka? Ono osaberi to ka irenai to. Kitsuke ga jugo fun. Hair set mo jukun kara jugo fun. お、結構早いですね。じゃあ、30分以内に。うん、でも着物を皆さんあの、選ぶ時間があるので、だいたい1時間ぐらい。ああ、ああ。お店に来て着物選んで全部支度してお出かけまでに1時間ぐらい。お
Um, so last time we had permission in advance. Oh god. Oh. Okay. Oof. Oh. Okay, we're having a lot, a lot of... I cannot look at the chat right now because she's doing something here with my hair. Oh. Sorry, I can't check the chat for a little bit now. I need to look straight ahead. Thank you. <laughs> Alright guys, give me a moment. Ah. Oh, there's already a lot of curls you can see. I can't look at the phone right now, but look at the wonderful curls we can see here. She's done that so quickly. I'm also glad that I cut my hair recently so it's a little bit easier to style it. I'm also super, like impressed how fast she's been to get this all done. Oh. Oh, and then she pulls out little strands here right now to make sure we get a little bit of volume at the top. There we go. And we have some little strands here. Looking good. I have right now, because of the change of season, I have very inflamed scalps right now. So we need to little bit, be a little bit more careful with my scalp here right now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm a bit of a whiz right now. Oh, look at those wonderful curls here. Brian, thank you, John. Oh, thank you. Sorry, I can't look at the screen right now. So you might have to wait for a little bit, guys. Um, wow, but I'm already really happy how she's doing this. Okay, she's braiding now a little strand here on the side, if you can see that. Okay, it's all nice and curly now. I love already how the hair is looking. So many curls. Oh, Kari. Kari, Kari. Okay, so I asked her to, usually I showed you in the picture just now, it is generally on the back of the hair, but because we are a live stream and you guys are probably going to more see me from the front or the side, I asked her to make a braid on the side. So it's easier for you guys to later see the result once I move the camera. I, I am so sharp, sparkly, I'm loving this. So you can rent out their kimonos for the day and um, they close around 5 so you should just <laughs> So you can rent it out for an entire day, but since this is a tourism place, a lot of things close around 4 anyways. So a lot of things are closing up around 4, lots of shops are starting to close here too once the sun is setting. So this is a good timing for you to then walk back and between 4 and 5 return it. 
because afterwards there isn't much to do anyways in this area. Ah, okay, there's sometimes people who also return it on the next day. But ideally, you know, you should return it on time. I think that's a foreigner thing that we sometimes not able to return things on time. I saw a foreigner yesterday run trying to return her kimono or just make sure you're back on time. It's just a respect thing too. <coughs> Yeah. If you return it on the next day, you, you you know you have to pay an extra charge, which makes sense because obviously they can't get it ready and prep it for other people if you do that. Also, they have to, um, you know, you have to calculate in that these ones are hard to clean, so they have to later on clean them and stuff like that too. So return it on time if you can, guys. Ooh, I like what they already done with this. It looks pretty. Look at this, we've, we've made a lot of progress in a very short time. Just fast. Oh, see, we're trying to create like a fluffy, fluffy hairstyle, just as like frilly and fluffy as the airy, lacy kimonos are. Oh, I like this combination of Western and Japanese that's happening here right now. Playerx, thank you. Hope there is good weather today. There is luckily. Um, I did a stream already on Twitch, and that was a really wonderful day. We went to see the cherry blossoms on Saturday, and we had good weather for that. And then on Sunday it was raining, and today is actually really pretty weather. Thank you so much for the twenty dollars player X. Arigato ne. All right, we are back. Way. Here we go. Oh, I like how fluffy this already is looking. It's a fluffy fluff fluff. And thank you for everyone who pushed the like button. Thank you guys so much. We're getting there now. We're almost at the completion of today's style. Yeah, these ones are like a proper, proper silken kimono, a high class silken kimono is the price of a car, guys. I heard a saying in Japanese, which is if your wife makes wearing kimonos her hobby, your house is gonna get ruined. <laughs> like, it, because it's so expensive to have several kimonos, and if it's high class kimonos, they're very pricey. So, <laughs> that's why a lot of people also rent out different kimonos, because you can't own that many. It's very expensive to own several kimonos. That's why even a lot of Japanese people rent them out. Kathy's cute on NHK. Thanks for watching me on NHK too. I'm a hot worker, making lots of things happen. Hey, and you found me through Japan Railway Journal. Tanaka, arigato ne. Thank you. Wow, I love what she's doing with my hair right now. Like she's even using my own hair to hide the hair bands in in my hair. It's clever. <laughs> so funny. Tanaka is saying I never thought a show about trains would lead me to this channel. And Michael is saying I never I never thought this channel is leading me to watch a show about trains. Thank you guys for watching me across different platforms. Thank you for watching me at NHK. Thank you so much for watching me on Twitch. Thank you so much for watching me on YouTube. Thank you so much for having my Instagram. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. All right, this is looking good. Whew. Why do you take care of kimonos? You usually need to clean them. If you get a high class silken kimono because it's silk, you need to actually give them to a cleaners. If they're made out of uh, cotton, you might have different options, but if they're made out of silk, you need to get them to a cleaners, otherwise you ruin the fabric. Oh, 
The ray of kimonos were really expensive. Yeah. Kimonos are pricey, and if they go together with a brand, I expect them very, very pricey. Never thought watching a show about Japan would get me into trains and fashion. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna get a little bit of hairspray to make sure it stays in place for today because I want to be out in this kimono all day. I'm gonna tease a little bit of the hair. Yeah, setto de nashi demo tanomushiru desu ka? Setto de kuru. Okay, depending upon you, if you have like your own hairstyle you want to wear, you don't have to get your hair set here. So it's totally up to you whether you want to just go with your normal hair, but I think it's kind of part of the experience to have have someone do the hair for you too, because you can't do it by yourself. I never thought I'd have such a cool friend that lived in Japan. Oh, Ken, thank you so much. Thank you. There are bags and sun parasols. I think you can just select whether you want to add them to your rental. I haven't really thought about it. Ah, my gummy all. Hey. Do you Just ask her to go a little bit down on the heat setting because I have very fragile hair. Oops. Okay, I have to look straight for it. For it. Can't look at the chat for a moment, guys. Just to make sure that we get uh, everything in balance. And I don't keep looking away so much so we get a good final result. Ah, oh, kawaii, kawaii. <laughs> kawaii. Kurun, kurun. Oh, kawaii, kawaii. Fua, fua. Just hold on, guys. We're getting it done. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Deadly kitten, thank you. Will you get a photo afterwards? Well, the director is unfortunately in Tokyo, but I'll try and take some pictures with my phone and put them up on my Instagram if possible. Now you're getting the chance to see how this actually looks from the back because I can't see how this looks from the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. We're getting in shape, guys. We are getting in shape. A 
comments. I think someone was asking us how you can support us the best way. The best way you can support us right now, guys, is share our videos. If you have a video you enjoy, share it with friends. Get more people to find Ash Japanese and enjoy it. And watch the video in full. It, it, it is free to watch a video in full. It's absolutely free. Just watch an entire video without clicking away. It's free. So if you see us upload a new video, watch it. Watch the whole thing. It's free. <laughs> and don't click away the commercials. <laughs> I think we need those to survive. Sometimes they're a bit long though, so don't judge you for the long ones. Oh wow, so pretty. Oh, Tanoshi! <laughs> this is so fun. Oh my gosh, I don't want to change my hairstyle. I want to sleep in this. Can I just try and sleep in this? I'm gonna try. I like it. Look at that. I look like a different girl. Who's, who's that girl? different types of hats. We are here at Gojo Zaka. Gojo Zaka, people are asking where we are. Gojo Zaka, all the way over to Kiyomizera. This is the part of Kyoto that I personally like the most. There's a lot of cute things in this area. Oh, look at that classy lady. Oh, both of them are very classy. Look at this classy lady. Look at me being classy, classy. Classy, classy, classy. You're getting the right. We're getting the right angle for the hat now. Whee. Oh. Oops. Okay, now we're going to pin a couple of those things into place. Ooh, wonderful. Oh, it looks so classy. I love it. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. So for everyone's coming in who hasn't seen the start, this is a new kimono trend that fuses that fuses Western and Japanese themes together. So that's why we have lace, that's why we have pearls. Yes. Oh, look at the extra pearls I'm getting into my hair now. How pretty is that? My, my fair lady fields, I know, right? So I think that definitely gets you into a different mood as well if you're going you're not just going sightseeing you're going sightseeing in style and you're gonna get all those pretty pictures for your social media at the same time right oh my gosh I wish I've done I've done this before now I feel like I've seen so many girls all around me who got dressed in this style and walked around and now I wish I'd done this more earlier because it's so pretty. I really I want to like take even more pictures now, but I already take a lot of pictures. Oh. Trust 
trying to get the last balance right. I can't really read the comments. I'm trying to read the comments, but I can't. <laughs> trying to get the right balance of the head right. Yeah, I have a really sensitive scalp right now, so we need to a little bit be a little bit careful when we put the pins in. like a lady. Lady vibes. Oh, so far as you can see it. Yeah, it's I also like how much um, attention she gives to detail here. She makes sure that even the accessory on top of the hat is looking good. Like she's making sure that has the right Spread around, around and stuff. So it's pretty. In Japan, thank you. Kathy Cat has transformed into Kathy Summer. <laughs> I hope you put the right. Oh! Oh, it's so pretty from the back, too. I feel like I've become a lady now, guys. Let's have a look at the back. Okay. Thank you one more time, Ninja Man. Okay, let's carefully get up. Oops. Oh, Subarashi, arigatou gozaimasu. Oh, guys, I'm Lady now. I'm Lady Catherine. And we can pick it back. Oh, arigatou gozaimasu. Now I can pick a lady like bag to go with my wonderful lady like outfit. So I want to go on my lady like trip. Oh wow, that's so cool. I feel so posh. I like this one here with the lace. I think I'm gonna take this one. Lady Catherine, I know, right? I look like a Victorian lady. So yeah, there's there's extra accessories here in case you wonder that. I think the guys would like the masks. But let's put the... Okay, I'm gonna put the masks down this side for this. You wanted to see Lady Catherine. You're gonna get to see Lady Catherine now. Do 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 do. So, itan, misemas, furu furu coordinator. Okay, guys, let's check out the full coordinate. Are you ready for it? and similar things to now come and take some pictures here how pretty is that thank you ninja men one more time thank you and uh, i missed someone else i missed uh, mk great thank you mk arigato look how look how pretty this is so summarizing this up in case you didn't quite catch that at the start dark metals thank you for the ten dollars Look forward to Instagram pictures. Thank you, and Greg, thank you for the $10. Thank you, guys. Now, again, this is a new style in Japanese fashion where you wear laces and you kind of fusing Western and Japanese elements together to create this kind of look. So we have a pretty hat here, too. How cute is that? 
And now I can take it out for a day in the sun if I wanted to. It's picturesque, yeah it is, isn't it? It's really, really fun. Oh my gosh. And uh, we managed to get it all done, the hair set, the hair set, the kimono set up. And now I can go and take some pictures in here, which is what I should be doing. <laughs> so don't be afraid to eat wearing that though. Yeah, I would be very careful. Same thing with my Lolita fashion. I'm used to eating very carefully because obviously this is high class quality and materials. Yes. <sighs> thank you all. Thank you all so much for supporting the stream and for coming in. Uh, I'll be streaming more on uh, the weekend. I'm going to go to the Nintendo headquarters and hopefully... Oh, Frederick, thank you so much for the $20. Thank you, Frederick. Thank you. I'm going to go to the Nintendo headquarters and stream there from my Twitch. So if you haven't uh, followed my Twitch yet, don't forget to follow there. Um, that's going to be an exciting thing coming up. Nintendo headquarters. I'm very, very excited. But yes, <laughs> we are ready now to go out and slay the day. Slay the day, slay the day, slay the day. <laughs> so do you have any more questions to the staff and such? Otherwise, I am going to go now, grab my pretty little bag and take some pretty little pictures, right? Oh, yes, Adora, thank you for dropping my Twitch in as well. So the Kyoto trip is continuing. There's a lot more things happening as well. Yes, a lot of things we're going to be doing. Nanika, itai koto wa arimasu ka? So be sure to check out Biwa Kimono. The Instagram is in the description box and uh, also in the chat. Adora and uh, Michael have popped it in before. Looking good, Kathy. Thank you, Chris Stewart. Thank you. All right. I think that is the pot. <laughs> they did a great job. They did. They very much did. Wonderful stuff, right? Does it cost extra to do the hair? Of course, especially with all the time. But I don't think it costs extra for long here because it didn't, it doesn't, that, that's not a thing. <laughs> so you're good. Thank you, the ladies, for sharing. I know, right? Thanks to everyone for dressing me up in this wonderful style. I'm very, very excited now. <sighs> But yes, I'm, I'm gonna try and explore Kyoto now in style with my little parasol and everything. Take some pictures, they're gonna be on Instagram. And again, please, please, please find me on Twitch. There's gonna be more on Twitch soon too. Hi. Okay, they just gave a special offer. Uh, everyone who's been uh, watching the Ask Japanese stream, just now all of you guys, when you come here to this place, usually the extra accessories, they charge an extra thousand yen. But if you come here um, and say you've watched the stream with Ask Japanese, they're gonna uh, give you this as a, as a special extra for your dress up. So not to, go, not, to, not to take home, but they're gonna give you some extra accessories for your dress up free of charge so this these pearls you're gonna get that's i didn't know that, that that's really nice of them <laughs> so make sure that you mention when you come here uh, that you watch the ash japanese stream and it said that you're gonna get an accessory um extra for free so there there we go okay <laughs> wow right looking forward to the stream yeah john oh uh, on twitch we, i'm gonna take you to the old nintendo headquarters on the day after tomorrow あ、そうです。そっか。みんな海外見てるので、来れないんですよね。どうしようかなと。そうね。もうちょっと期間が経ってからなので。うん。なっちゃう。じゃあ、もういいかな。あ、もう行っちゃった。じゃあ、います。あ
<laughs> if you can come within the year, then it will count within the year. That's what they said. So, one year, we'll do it. So, one year, we'll do it. So, maybe the trends might change in the, year, in the other years. So, for now, for this year, <laughs> hopefully, we'll open the borders soon. <laughs> right, but they were very, very sweet. They were very sweet. And maybe if we, if we have the chance and if we can come again to Kyoto, then we can refresh all of this as well. So, yes. Uh, yeah, hopefully they're all gonna open the borders soon. I'm gonna do like, oh, look at this. I'm gonna now go and take all the pictures. <laughs> I'm gonna go now and take all the pictures. I'm half tempted to do a Twitch stream now, but I'm not sure if I have everything set up to stream in Twitch right now. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for checking out the new kimono style with me. There is some customers coming now, so I want to make sure that the customers can also uh, go and, and, and enjoy this and don't get intimidated by me talking to the camera really loudly. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you all for supporting the stream. Thank you for pushing that like button. I'm really glad you had fun here. And uh, I'll see you. My next stream is on Twitch, so I see you on Twitch next time. Thank you so much for coming over. Yes. <laughs> We can wing it on Twitch here when we. I'll, I'll see if I can Twitch uh, stream a little bit on Twitch if it works, if my setup works. But yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for supporting Ash Japanese. As a director, I've been working really hard on a couple of cool videos coming up soon, too. And again, the way to support to have Ash Japanese right now, if you can, please watch a video in full. It's free to watch a video in full and maybe keep the commercial running if you can. And if you can come over to Twitch. Uh, for more casual streams that would be really lovely as well too in case you wanted to have a question and i didn't answer your question thank you for coming <laughs> thank you for spending time in kyoto here with us and uh, <laughs> i'll see you soon also our socials are all down below you can find my instagram the instagram of the store where we are here right now and uh, all the other socials are down below in the box as well thank you so much have a wonderful day and I'll catch you soon for more stuff, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Arigato ni. See you guys. Bye bye. Let's hit the streets of Kyoto and take lots of awesome pictures. Thank you.